What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video on Scoop's World. And it's your boy Scoop. And today we have a day in the life with Amari Bailey, point guard out of California. Uh, Amari's a top 10 player, maybe top five. I know, he, yeah, he's top five player, number three player overall, or number three, number four. He's in the same class as Imani Bates and Sky Clark and Jalen Durant, Doran, and all them boys. Uh, I believe he's the number one point guard. So we're gonna do a day in life with him. Uh, he goes to the same high school as Bronny James, and it's his team this year. So if you're a person who loves sports, whether it's the NBA, college basketball, or top high school basketball recruits in the world, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like up the video for your boy, and leave a comment below where are your thoughts on Mari Bailey's game. It's right into the video. Fourth grade, I got cut. I got cut and I just went going to the gym. Fourth grade? I cried and then I was just like, I'm just in the gym. I needed that. People always be like, damn, or like you play like you pissed off, because I do. Like, huh. <laughs> that's just who I am. Mm. I just feel like you gotta have that mentality. Baby like, Rustbrook. Just, just like, why is this person on the same court as me? Like, Disrespectful, huh? He don't need to be on the same floor as me. Like, he can go play with someone else. Like, I'm not the one to play with. Me being cut from the fourth grade team it might sound tedious, but like, every time I step on the floor, like, I think about that. Like, every single time I step on the floor, like, you can be replaced, you can get cut. I like his energy. Mm. It's easy to see why he's ranked that high. I'm a point guard in the junior class. You know what I mean? He's not going to back down from a challenge. He's going to be right there in your face and ready to play. 6'5". Told you, third. I knew it was yeah, three or four. From Chicago. I play to be the best. Like I don't, I'm not in this for no other reason. Like I want a better life for myself and my family. I just, I just play to be the best. That's what it's like. What, like that's why I wake up and like go so hard every day. I feel it. I like the energy. Hmm. Well, playing defense, offense, all that. Mm. Yeah. You can work hard, but you need that fire. Because hard work, a lot of people work hard. A lot of people work hard, but that's just a part of it. Like, he works hard and he has that fire to compete. He wants to compete, right? And then he's committed. So when you get guys that got all three of those, mm. man, you're looking at someone really special. Online Spanish class. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Amari? I'm cracking up. <laughs> oh, no, she is. I just got some pasta. It's oh, good mama. pasta. It looks delicious. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you enjoy that. Take your quiz and enjoy your pasta. Don't worry more about it. Right. It's lunchtime. Woo! I got that round too. Oh, I tweet. <laughs> I tweaked on one of the questions. Yeah. Well, first off, I didn't think I'd be at Sierra Canyon to start off. Like, you like, I was living in Chicago at the time, and I would play with Sierra Canyon, like, on some funny stuff on 2K. And then, like, I got to, because you know that, like, kids would, like, make, like, the Marvin Bagley and then, like, Zion Williamson, like, had his took, like, the good players, like, they'd make 2K games out of you. That was crazy at first, and now I started playing with like Cassius and Scotty and KJ. And they showed me the ropes like freshman year mm. on like how things were done at SC. 
and then sophomore year, um, yeah, I played with Z Will, BJ, like our whole team was just crazy. Bronny, Taryn, uh, Shy, it, it, it was it was mad. It was really that's dope. crazy. How you go from being in Chicago to like going to LA? BJ was probably one of the best players I've ever played with. If not the best. BJ Boston. For sure. Kentucky. Just because, like, I haven't seen, like, too many people that work just as hard or harder than BJ. His work ethic is crazy. And then, um, Z Will is so selfless. So it's like. Zaire like, Williams at Stanford. Go and, like, play and compete with him every single day. So it was their senior year. They had to, they had to do what they had to do. But now it's like my junior year. Like, I'm starting to. Just take things over more and more. So, okay. Just go into one of, just use one of these verbs straight into the conjugation. So, bebo, como, compadre. That boy going through them juice boxes. <laughs> All right, yo, bebo. Um. He cheating. You see that? Hey, when you do this, you cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifth one is just up in the air for real, for real. I mean, you can throw, you can throw Sosa, you can throw Gunna, you can throw. I'm boy from Chicago. Uzi. Welcome to another afternoon in the trenches. Amari is one of the most focused kids, but the biggest thing is he has good attitude, so it's easy to work with him at any time of day. He's a good kid, got a good attitude. Very motivated. He's the type of kid you could train from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, and he'll probably call you at 7 asking to get right back in the gym. Amari's work ethic is crazy. I mean, he wants it more than anyone. He doesn't like free handouts at all. Added like 15 inches to my vertical since freshman year, so that's been 15 very, inches. Very, 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 very helpful. He's eager to learn, man. Well, what's his very freshman year? Three times, three times a day. 15? <laughs> I gotta get him out of the gym. Like you know, what I'm saying when you find kids like that, man, you gotta be excited about it. And he has a fire to want to compete and play. I don't know, maybe weird. I like, I feel like I'm in the game, like. I'm changing, like I got my jersey, my socks, my shoes on and shit. So, I just feel like I'm in a game 24-7 that keeps me more engaged with it. It's gonna be real tough to guard someone like him. It won't be uh, individual. Baby Westbrook, man. Like, you know, you have to use your team. If you they can get a, a consistent a player deep range play. jumper, baby Dame. Dame Dollar, Damian Lillard. I was, I was really, really quiet for most of the game. Wow, his mom is out there yeah, talking crazy. I just punched it on my head, bro. I eat pasta like three, four times a day. I have no problems eating it. His mom out there talking crazy. First of all, Alfredo is the best food on earth right now. And then you gain weight with it too. I'm a hooper. So. Alright, y'all. Voila. Yeah, high school first team all a drip. Like I need to be a part of that. It was just cool. I was it's a high school kids. first team all a drip. They huh. them, put these on with like a polo, button up shirts and pants. You better go. They got beat up a little bit. These are so hard to me. Like I just had to. I, I had to get a pair. But I feel like being a little stepper, like I started on. You can always go back to like where you came from, so like don't take any of this for granted. Like, like all oh, this is just a blessing. I wouldn't imagine seeing myself in 
in the valley in California in the hills somewhere. Like this is crazy. I see her again. Like I would. Like for all my guys, like if you're like under six foot, and you know like how girls like guys that are like six foot, you put these on, you'll be like a, if you're like five ten, you'll be like a smooth like six one. So these are yours. These are. I mean, I don't really gotta say too much about these. These are just. These are just hard to even look at, let alone just wear out. After the mic duck, like I had to, I had to get a pair of fives. Like, it was only right, so. Yeah. People will definitely know after this, that dude got some stuff in the closet. You can see they're beat up, but like, I had these since like middle school. I've been wearing the same size shoe. I've been wearing a 14 since like, sixth, seventh grade. Favorite yeah, he done growing. Plan? Uh, he done growing. Yeah, probably these. These what's good. You wearing the same size since middle school. You done growing. These are beat up. I got these last year, I think. Yeah, I got these last year at a little Jordan event, but maybe Westbrook. They're probably more Where's the Westbrook shoe because like I always wanted to be a gold medalist when I was a kid. And I wore these in my gold medal game, so these are always are like got me a lot to me. You can sell my sneaker here, but like I use like all these shoes to like express who I am, like with got a fire collection, like with all the colors. Like his style was way different than most of the kids in Chicago. So it's funny. I feel like now in LA, he's kind of met his his space and time. But no, Amari definitely has his own style. Um, he's willing to take really take on anything. I mean, he's he's got his own unique way about him. So. First boy dog. Now, like, so I got in trouble in sixth grade, and my mom told me, like, write everything down that you want to do in your life. And she basically gave me a peck talk on, like, basically, like, your time is now to, like, change, like, your bad habits and just go about things the right way and just, like, put forth a good step with everything that you do. So I wrote that down in sixth grade, like, and calling O W. Yeah, like, your time is now. Like, why you got to wait? It don't matter how old you are, like, I understand, like, you gotta do your time with certain things, but, like, why wait? All right, nice quick little video. Uh, Baby Westbrook, Amari Bailey, Bucket. Um, comment below your thoughts on Amari's game. Um, like up the video, and if you have not, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.